Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's a place where we learn, we explore, and we create new things through drawing. Do you have issues in drawing camp program mechanism? Well, if you do, join me as we embark on an exciting adventure in discovering tricks and easy ways to draw a camp profile. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notified when I post new videos. Draw the profile of a cam with the following specifications. Minimum distance from the center to the edge equals 35mm. The cam lifts the follower with simple harmonic motion during 120 degrees of the revolution, then remains at rest for the next 60 degrees, then falls with infinite acceleration and retardation during 120 degrees through 50 mm and finally returns to the starting point with, with uniform motion. Okay, from the question, we're giving this is distance from the center of the cam, from cam center to the edge, to the edge, to be equals to 35 mm. And then we're also giving the length of the lift, of the, like the follower lift, lift of the follower to be equals to. 30 millimeter. Now, from the question, it says first of all, we had a simple harmonic motion of 120, and then it was on a rest of 60, and then it's finally have a uniform force with uniform accelerating motion as 120, but true 15 millimeter. That means the follow one up, we don't have to we have 15 for this. And then finally, it then comes to rest. All right. Now, same kind of motion 120, rest 60. This um, uniform motion 120. And I told you the sum of all the angles should be equal to 360. So this is 120 plus 60 plus 120 minus 360 will give you 60. So it will rest at 60 degrees. Okay, now with these parameters, we can draw. Now, the first thing to draw is the base circle. And the distance between the camp center to the, to the edge is 35. That means the radius of the base circle is 35 millimeter. So we're going to measure 35. Towards the center, okay. No measure, no draw. Sorry, all right. Have it done that. I'll mark the cent center points, okay. Now we also have the lift of the lift of the follower to be close to 30, so I'll draw a straight line. And then from this point here, measure 30. This is for the lift, sorry, for the follower. That means the total length of the circle will be this. I also draw a circle here too. All right. Okay, at this point in time, I will clean this line, okay? Let's need to show you something. All right. So we're going to divide this lift. Remember, this is the lift, which is 30 millimeter. We're going to divide this lift into six equal parts. Now listen. This is 30. 30 divided by 2 will give you 15. 15. So you mark 15. Place here. Okay. Then we'll draw a straight line. In here, I'll cut. I'll cut. Then we'll pin here. We also cut. Pin here. Then we also cut. Alright. So we'll join all this to this point. Alright. 
All right, so having done this, we then project this line vertically downward. Okay, so I've numbered it. One, two, three. Okay. Now, at this point, we will employ or let's say we will need a protector. All right. So we employ a protector and then remember the first motion is a simple harmonic motion which is 120 degrees so we'll place our protector at the center point here okay and then we we'll measure this is 120 okay then we'll join it to the center point all right then Next is a what? A rest at 60 degrees. So I'm putting it this way. 60 degrees, okay. <laughs> the next is a UDM, uniform accelerating motion, 120 degrees. And then I put it this way. One twenty is this way. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now we're going to divide each of these segments into six equal parts. So we're going to divide this arc here into six equal parts. So at this point in time, we're going to do trial by error. So let's let's take this for example. So it's one. So three, four, five, six. It's almost switched. So I'll just um alter it a little so and go again. It's measured. Six. 11 12 millimeter um 12 millimeter so okay so i'm going with one two three four five six let's one two three four five six five six and then we'll do this So I just jump. Okay. All right. Now to make things easier, I'll just elongate this part so this because this is 120, 120, so it will be proportional. Okay. I just elongate it. So it's a little bit of a little bit. Now to look at the question, we have simple common motion 120, rest 60. UDN 120 and uh, now for this UDN this is a step down okay now this is what we're gonna do you pin at the center point I advise you put something under your plunge sheet so that it doesn't slip alright so we move from one one to one okay two to two three to three Four to four, five to five, and then six to six. Okay, now, and if you look at the part four, and after SHM, next is the rest at sixty. So, this is the rest that means. There will be no further, so you rest again at panda 60. Okay, you just make this one thicker. Okay, next is UDM. UDM 120, but it's a step down with 50 millimeter. Okay, so the follower steps down with 50 millimeter. So we're gonna measure since it's 30. Okay, 30, we're gonna measure 15 millimeter. 
which is this is 50 millimeter i want to divide this 50 millimeter into 64 place that's to give us 2.5 so we mark out 2.5 all right so i've divided into 64 parts okay now what next so i simply put my um compass in the middle and as we used to do it one to one one to one two to two two to two three to three four to four Okay, so finally, because it rests with the uniform motion, we also need to divide this part so into six equal parts. Okay, so we're gonna do trial by error. Alright, and then I'll join. So dividing this line to score for this line is the length of this line is about 18. So 18 divided by 6 will give it 3. So we're gonna go 0 0.3. Alright, so we'll pin again. I will do one, one to one, two to two. <laughs> all right. So after doing that, now when you draw our locus, how do we do it? Where all this line, where one and one stop, you just mark them. Mark, mark, mark. And remember, this is the rest. Okay, there is no motion here. And then come here again. You mark. Where is it? Mark, 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 mark. Now they will keep marking. So we are done. I'm back to the base. And with the nice French color, I'm gonna join all these points together. Now, there is one thing um as far as amplifier is concerned, you only divide the part that is in motion. If the part is that part is at rest, you don't divide the part. If you check this was at rest, that's why we don't divide here. This is having SHM, UDM, UM, I mean a simple harmonic motion, rest. Uniform accelerating motion and a uniform motion. I mean to say, all right. So I will join these points. Okay, guys. So with the nice friendship, I was able to join all the points together, and it gave me this beautiful logos. So this is our cam profile diagram. Um, okay. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Please endeavor to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video. Ask questions in the comment section of this video. Tell me um, what you don't understand. Drop the, your, your questions on the comment section of this video. And please tell me what video you would like me to upload next on the comment section. The next video is still on Cam Profile. And I will be dropping it at the, in the description part of this video. Please go to the description part of the video and watch the next diagram. Thank you and see you next episode.